Hello there. Easter seems a little while ago now, but in the lead up, I spent most of my lunch hours and um, weekends lurking around in local camping and fishing shops preparing for my annual uh, family Easter trip. Um, and I was really pleased to not only be able to buy some great stuff from the local shops, things like my favourite lures, but also got some great advice about where to fish and um, where the best places to camp and so on were and what gear would suit me the best. It was a real illustration for me that buying in the Territory um, not only gets you some great prices and deals, but also some fabulous information to go along with it. I suppose you want to know whether any of that information worked. Well, I personally didn't catch a fish, but my, my wife caught one of the, uh, one of the difficult to catch meteries and a 16 year old cousin who's a um, exchange student from Germany caught his first ever barra. So it was all pretty exciting. While we're talking about local businesses, um, the Business Advisory Council meeting was held in Gove recently and there we met with a lot of the local businesses and heard firsthand how they're coming to grips with the decision by Rio to close the refinery. We also heard from Rio about the sort of support that they're providing to local businesses and also from our on the ground people uh, about how they've been talking to individual businesses and helping them cope with what's going on there. There's still some tough times ahead, but in some respects the future's looking good. A really exciting budget announcement for us was the establishment of a red tape abolition squad. We've already got the red tape advocate who sp spends time with local businesses working out how their interaction with government can be improved. The red tape abolition squad will take a much more holistic view of how red tape can be improved for territory businesses. We're really going to take this to the next level and look at how where regulation is necessary, how it can be improved and made easier for business to comply with, and where it's unnecessary, well, it'll be abolished. We're even looking at having a separate day in the Legislative Assembly where red tape legislation is uh, put through. I recently attended the opening of the North Australian Development Office. It's located on the ground floor at Development House, near the Territory Business Centre. Next time you're in the Territory Business Centre, pop up and have a look. It's a really great way of the Territory Government collaborating with industry to showcase the Northern Territory as the place to work and invest. While we're talking about collaboration, this week I attended the opening at Charles Darwin University of the Structural Load Testing Facility. It's a great facility where local businesses and industry can have items tested to destruction in the Territory rather than sending them interstate. It's another example of collaboration, this time between the Territory, industry and Charles Darwin University. Another exciting budget announcement is the establishment of a pop-up Territory Business Centre on the Tiwi Islands. We're going to provide the full suite of Territory Business Centre services out on the islands to really help the islands reach their full economic potential. We're also announcing a review of the Workers' Compensation and Rehabilitation Act. This act will be reviewed to ensure that it is fair for both employers and workers. Until next time, Thanks very much.